That is a weird mistake to make. Like, I could smell these guys. That's how gross they are. Generic control in the deck goes, and we're back with another episode of Overanalyzing Avatar. Today we have The Swamp, which I never really enjoyed as a kid just because I was a germaphobe and didn't really like the thought of a bunch of sweaty swamp people and stuff like that, and they like do all the vines, and it's just really, really gross to me for some reason. I have no idea why I never liked these people. I don't know, they just gave up the impression they were gross, and as a germaphobe growing up, and as a germaphobe now, I still don't like these people, but I know that they're just kind of like derpy. They're basically like the uh, the hippies from before, just maybe more redneck maybe would be the term i'm not really sure but thank you so much for clicking on the video hope you had a wonderful day i hope like i can make it a tiny little better you enjoyed my reaction to last week's video which was return to omashu where we met ty lee and may for the first time i'll leave it right up there also you can link down below in the description also gonna be on a place on my channel with all the mother over analyzing avatar reactions go to chronological order also shout out to the patrons they can do videos early a lot of time have a paywall on the channel like i said i hope you have a wonderful day i do read every single one of your comments there's gonna be i believe a fun fact in the comment section from caleb and i think there's also gonna be a really in-depth uh comment from Kemp Dog, who does some really great in-depth comments on my, my My Hero Academia videos uh, when I react to that as well. But he also does my Avatar because he absolutely loves Avatar, and I do too. But let's go ahead and jump into the swamp. It seems to be a shorter episode out of the entire group that's on here, but let's go ahead and get on into it. All right. Was well, not one of my favorite episodes right off the bat as a this kid. Episode, we can see a cart carrying masks roll by, and one of them is the blue spirit mask. Zuko clearly wow. hit up this cart because the other blue spirit mask he had was probably torched when he was nearly assassinated. What's even cooler is <laughs> that you hear a little bit of the blue spirit music as it passes super quietly. Oh. These are split second moments, but we can see Katara studying the but... scrolls Paku gave them and Sokka sharpening his machete. Little stuff like that really makes these characters feel alive. I don't know. Oh, if yeah. To learn earth doing bending, I would have to wait and listen. And now I'm actually hearing the earth. But this is when he sees the vision of Do you of want Toph. me to ignore it? Yes. Yes. I don't know. There's something also, ominous about that place. Also, swamps are full of bugs. It's humid. It's a tad strange Gross. that Sokka gets this foreboding feeling, the same as everyone else. But then once they're actually stranded in the swamp, he's Mr. Science and Reason Lover all over again. Oh, because he doesn't believe in the whole, like... Okay, uh, this is a total nitpick here, but in my head, the three kids look like they're gigantic as they get flung here, right? It's also really weird maybe. how they get Dragon Ball z through a mile of trees and then just fall directly downwards into the swamp without a scratch on them. I mean, last Aang season, just... Ang went flying through some trees and he got beat to hell. Sokka, you've got an elbow leech. Yeah. Where? Where do you think? On your elbow. Why do things keep attaching to me? That's so gross. This line might feel a little weird, unless you remember last episode when Sokka was covered in pentapluses. We need to find Appa as fast <laughs> as we can. Pods. And yeah, the swamp people. I've it's also very spooky episode. Moments. Not only in Avatar, but in pretty much everything. It's used in a lot of stuff. It's a really good way Maybe to show your characters lost. being watched, but without it being given away as to what's lost. watching them. Which makes the whole situation a lot more interesting. <laughs> Appa. Same, bro. I like how Momo is smart enough to realize. Bonk. Momo? There's no way they can hear us. What do you mean there's no way they what can hear you? What do you mean? You? What if they can, like, hear you with yeah, their ears? This is a really strange shot. It shows the gang set up their camp in a hollowed out tree, but then the next shot literally no hinges around them being able to be seen from all sides, and there's only, like, this little, I guess, wall of tree behind them. That's a really weird mistake to make. Huh. That is a weird mistake to make. What animal do you figure is making that noise? The closest I can think is a badger frog, which isn't in my top 10 threatening avatar animals. No. Might be number like 15. Does he actually have a list? I hope he made a list. Hoppus is trying to sleep. This is a fun little cutaway. King of the jungle, Appa, baby. Appa probably I wouldn't mess with Appa. swamp at the moment by a wide margin, so he probably doesn't have anything to fear other than the most dangerous creature of them all. It turns Which out is. it's man. It turns out it's a man. <laughs> what? Is that a um, Futurama? Ah, I'm getting some original Evil Dead vibes here, man. Evil and Dead? if you've seen what? that movie, you know those are bad vibes. So I... it turns out Hugh was bending the vines, right? But dude has to be master among masters to be doing this. Attacking that three different people, precisely running in yeah. different directions. Dude must be a god. Maybe he's controlling his mind or something. Is that a catfish gator? 
Ned Appa is like, don't you dare. Appa fears no creature, land or sea. I'm having a tough time coming up with an animal alive in this time period that isn't assumed extinct, at least, that could take a sky bison. It's actually, and it can fly. Why it's that big and can fly. having its mouth open in very sketchy bodies of water? Freaks me the fuck out, man. Okay, so Sokka being a skeptic about anything being screwy is fine. Good, works for his character. But, but then he hallucinates. But when he a literal incarnation of the moon spirit, who he's personally acquainted with, it's instead to put some doubts in his mind, I think. Considering he's been Does to the it? spirit world and all, you just couldn't have he a has. show with fusion animals and not put in the There's whole when tough. pigs fly thing. I can't wait to get off. <laughs> <laughs> is that no, 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 is that a little hairy fella around that thing? No, I can that's smell what they call these guys. Lemur. That's how gross Someone they are. Someone on a traveling show once. Real smart, they say. Bet he tastes a lot like possum chicken. Possum chicken. I think everything tastes like possum chicken. Dude drops his possum chicken line, but I bet you never noticed that they literally show you possum chicken like 30 seconds prior. There he is, and he's in my nightmares too. And yours. Nothing to worry about. I've never seen that. <laughs> I've been like, nope. say that for well, we are, but you don't have to tell them that. Yeah, that's well, fair. How'd I know they'd understand me? This that's is an true. interesting little piece of evidence for the argument that Oppa literally understands human language. That is, you know, that he clearly gets what was just said. But there's more evidence later in the show, too. It's huh. just a tree. It can't call anyone. For are the last sure time, that? there's nothing after us, and there's nothing magical happening here. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Giant He's still swamp technically monster. technically right up to this point. Between shots here, the gang does a little switcheroo in places, so Sokka can get chased and grabbed. Avatar is really good at this. Realistically, what the hell is Sokka gonna do in this fight? Swing yeah. his machete at the regenerated True. vine monster? He doesn't really have a role to play, but they still find a way to have him be important in the scene. He's being captured He's or held on trouble. for some unknown reason, so he's still involved. It keeps him from just being a cheerleader on the sidelines, which is really smart. Is I feel like a lot of shows fall into that trap. Here's another one of Katara's classic, I'm gonna run up really close to whatever I'm fighting for no reason Instead moments. Of You're a water what are you gonna do? Throw water at it, Why does she run That's at another it? thing in this episode. Like before, when they got set flying through all the trees, DBZ style, people get ragdolled and sent flying tens, if not hundreds, of feet in this episode to no injuries. I don't like that. It makes yeah, the people in Avatar cheap. built Yo, different. This is a crazy little detail. Remember the tiara Momo brought Katara back of the blue spirit? He yeah. domes do here with it. That's awesome. <laughs> Wait, really? She kept it? Now, what would a Limu need a shirt for? I wonder why. <laughs> explodes. Yet another, yeah, that makes sense moment, where the viewer isn't explicitly told that waterbenders can bend vines or plants, but well, it's I just mean, a natural extension of the It's the same as so kind of like bloodbending. Jesus Christ, say, Philadelphia. Yeah, that makes sense. I get 27 to nothing at the end of the thing, second quarter? Where have I seen this before? Sure. You think you're any different from me, or your friends, or this tree? If you listen hard enough, you can hear every living thing breathing together. I don't know about that you now. can feel everything growing. The little talk from Hugh is really nice. It doesn't talk down to its audience, even though it's expected to be kids. Sorry to interrupt the lesson, but we still need to find Appa and Momo. I What's think I know how to find them. Everything is connected. Connect. All right, this is a pretty wild little guru power that Aang never exhibits again. The swamp may well, he does it one time. Place that's literally all connected. But gee, this would have been really useful during the seven or so episodes where Appa is literally gone. In the sand. Appa. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bye. We're under attack. Oh really? You, you know waterbending? That's cute. Hey, that's you guys are waterbenders. You too? That means we're kin. I don't know about is that this now. This is where the meme originated from. This is literally the same picture, right? So this gross. This is the meme. This is the meme. Where'd you say well, you were from? That. The South Pole. Didn't know they was waterbenders anywhere but here. They got a nice swamp there, do they? No. That's pretty interesting. They didn't know about any other waterbenders? Is this like an uncontacted tribe? It can't Maybe. Because Tho said he went to a traveling show once. How is it possible they don't know about other waterbenders? What about the visions? What? I told you we were hungry. I'm eating a giant bug. That's gross. Ow. That's really gross. But what about when the tree showed me where Appa and Momo were? That's Avatar stuff. That doesn't count. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> That's right. fair. Full moon continuity. All right, it was he a full moon last episode of Avatar. Again. You can't have two in a row. Get out of here. And here's how Zuko fair. gets his swords again, too. In a lot of shows, I feel From like that could have just been swept under the rug. Like, oh, Zuko just has his blue spirit gear. But it wouldn't have made sense, considering the circumstances. This so is the kind of long-term continuity and care and mask. detail that makes Avatar so special. So I gotta be honest, this is another pretty weak one, if you ask me. Not a lot happens. It's just mostly the gang wandering around the swamp. And Aang doing stuff he never does again. And cutaways to Oppa and Momo, which 
which are just more gags. And honestly, it's not that funny of an episode. The vision idea is cool, I guess, but it doesn't really go anywhere. It hints at Toph, I have no idea why the you believe just that. the time code and don't really mean much. We already know Katara misses her mom, but I guess it is nice to see that Sokka still thinks about Yue. It just took too much time for me personally. The action is also kind of weirdly over the top, which doesn't really feel like Avatar. Like people get destroyed and sent flying. <laughs> it just feels weird. And unlike some other weaker episodes, this doesn't have a lot of Zuko and Iroh to come in and save Rich, the day. Patreon we need that. If you want to see the next oh episode God. of Over oh Analyzing God. What, Avatar what are these right gonna now, be? you can support me on Patreon for just a few bucks. You'll be one up to get you forward, all my reactions. There, Biggest like, shout out to all Volga, our Fred Sullivan, week. who can speak 26 different languages. Three are of unknown, perhaps extraterrestrial origin. Oh. And Keegan Scott, who bench pressed a school bus off of a kid's leg who got pinned under it. Seriously. Bench press. Up. Other huge shout outs go to my other top patrons. Be My Valentine, Code Canut, DJ Jax, Derek Cornwell. I said that out of order. Do Mutual Aid, Dermer, Glintlock, Mana, Nicholas Abbott, Plarkler Glass, Skylo, Super Snipper, and Tiago Fuck it, I'm keeping that take. Next one up I'm is keeping that Avatar take. Day, which is just one more one more until the blind bandit oh we're looking we're oh the blind bandit that's one off so avatar day which i love that thumbnail because it has the little the the soccer with the investigator thing oh man but yeah this is a swamp like i said i didn't really enjoy this video as a kid the people were just gross they're like rednecks i live in the south i don't want any more of them in like i see them enough when i go outside the last thing i want to do is see them when i you know, and watching one of my favorite shows, even as a kid, and they're also gross in swamps and humidity. Just no, and bugs, giant bugs. No, no, just really, really gross. Just really, really gross. But like I said, the comment section is going to be uh, interesting, cause especially Kemp Dog's gonna be down there giving down a breakdown. But like uh, overanalyzing sad. It was one of the weaker episodes. Really cool that Zuko got back the blue spirit stuff. Kind of crazy to put that in with the the swamp episode. And also Aang did the thing where he sensed where they were in the entire swamp. And he never used that ability again. Which, I mean, it makes sense why he couldn't do it in desert. Because, obviously, it's a desert. There's just loose sand. It's why Toph couldn't really uh, earthbend. So, oh, man. I look forward to the watching next episode, which is Avatar Day. And the Blind Bandit where we meet Toph is going to be amazing. So, I hope you're subscribed so, so you don't miss future videos. I read episode and comment. But until the next video, take care. And keep the music. We're